Okay, what is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back. It's your boy Blue, and this, my friends, is Train Sim World 2 Spirit of Steam. But this time around, I am doing the No HUD Challenge. You know what that means? That means we're taking off the training wheels, we're taking off the assist, turning off the stop markers. All that stuff has got to go. We are on our own. No HUD, no nothing. That's the ultimate challenge, I believe, for any route on Train Sim World 2. You got to know your stuff. You got to know the route. You got to know where to stop. But how? Well, we're going we're gonna to figure that out. But if I am able to succeed, if I'm successful with this No HUD challenge, Dovetail Games has given me three free keys to the Spirit of Steam DLC. Only a few rules. You need to, you need to already own Train Sim World 2. You need to be subscribed to my channel, obviously. I mean, come on. And you need to be a part of my Discord so we can communicate when you win. You gotta have that. So, as you can see, I'm rocking the track I are today. I'm also rocking the rail driver, but I had to put a business card over the part that shows me the speed. So, just take my word for it. I mean, in reality, it would only be just justice to myself to cheat. So, I'm gonna do this right. But I'm using the rail driver and track IR, and that's all. And that's it. No other help. So, let's hop in this thing and get to it. All right, beautiful. We are in the office of the Jubilee. I'm actually gonna go ahead and open up the right side doors before we get up. I'm gonna go to the back and uncouple the old steam locomotive. And as you can see, you're probably wondering, hey, why do you have your HUD on? Well, we're gonna turn the HUD off once we roll out of the station, or else I wouldn't know what time it is. And there's no way for me to know the time having the HUD off. So I'll leave the HUD on just until we roll out the station. I'm gonna run all the way back here. There's lots of passengers ready to get on board our train today. Today's service is the Red Nose 1718 departure time going to uh, from Liverpool, Lime Street, down to London, Euston. So here's the uh, the train that originally pulled into the station. And we're going to decouple him. There we go. Now that he's uncoupled, everybody can board. And we're going to head back to the lead locomotive and get started with our route today. Uh, but wow, look at all the people on board. Matter of fact, I'm gonna run on the side just, just for the heck of it. Everybody's on board, ready to go. Beautiful modeling here inside the uh, the coaches. So we'll head back to the front. Now uh, we'll leave leave that to the other guys to check for tickets and stuff like that. We gotta hurry to get to the front, get the, air, the train set up and ready to go. See, there's another train over there on the turntable. Actually, he's about to get on the turntable on the ones and twos. And we are in the Crimson Jubilee today. I love the red livery. Absolutely love it. All right, let's hop inside. Picked it up off the uh, Creators Club. So, all right, so we're in front. And as I said earlier, we're going to be using Track IR and the Rail Driver. We can go ahead and lock the right side doors. And once the doors are shut, the HUD goes off. And we are on our own. Oh my god. This is so intimidating. <laughs> Alright, so reverse is going all the way to full forward. We got the small ejector. That's going to the off position. Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> oh boy. As soon as you turn that hood off, it gets real. Alright, so releasing the brakes. You'll see the vacuum brake now climbing up. Once that gets to 20 or 21, it is fully released to help it get there faster. With Put our large ejector into the right position, or the open, or on, whatever you call it. Uh, we got our homie, uh, well, we got uh, Janet with us today. It's our fireman. She'll be handing all the fireman duties. Here's our boiler pressure over here on the right. And brakes are pretty much released. And here comes the reverser. Uh oh, spin it a little bit, I can hear it. Yep, spin, spin it a little bit. Let's go. There we go. Oh, spinning still. Wow, really? It's like that, huh? All right, we're moving. Let's get some sand. All right, sand for the front. All right, we're chugging along now, baby. Right, you got to see green light. Got an orange, uh, orange light here. Oh, now it's green. All right, now that we're moving a bit faster, give it a little bit more regulator. 
and we'll go back on the reverser just a little bit maybe 45 we'll come down here and reset the cylinder cocks there we go all right looks like we're switching tracks oh man so we got it going with no hud that's that's an accomplishment already and we put the large ejector into the uh i think it's closed open i can't remember what left is and it will go here we'll turn our sander off i can't even see it let's get the light on Thank you very much. I right, sander into the middle, which is off. Are right, you handling your thing? Good, good, good. Beautiful. Oh, there's a train sitting there. Look at that. I guess he's waiting to get in. He's probably waiting for my spot. So he's waiting for us to get out of the way so that he can go about his business. Nice. All right, guys, we are moving past our first green light. Boiler pressure looks good. We're going to come back with the reverser now to about 25. Now, this first section is supposed to be pretty challenging. Uh, we're expecting up to a 1.1% uphill gradient. And I believe speed limit is only 15 miles per hour. Uh, it actually should, after that light, go up to 30 miles per hour once we clear that light. We'll get a little bit more reverser. We should be able to open it up all the way. Yep, I got it open all the way. Oh man, all right, let me breathe here. Let me breathe. Okay, guys, what's going on? So, Liverpool Lime Street to London, Houston. Stopping at uh, only two stops today, guys. This is an express service. I'm actually gonna go and hop into here and make sure our lights are set up yep left and right that is means that we are an express minimum stop service i'm gonna leave my camera here and we'll set my other camera to the passenger view here beautiful light shine through we got a packed house today man i got a full a full full coaches man we got 15 was it 15 14 coaches uh passenger coaches back there uh, but yeah, so only two stops today, guys. This is an uh, express route. We'll be stopping at Room Corn and Crew. The longest part will be between Room Corn and Crew. As you can hear from the engine, uh, we're not going that fast. Again, the speed limit is 30 miles per hour. I can't see the speed. Um, I just kind of have to you know, eyeball it and kind of listen as well. But... Um, I'm pretty confident we're going less than 30 miles per hour right now. <laughs> I got the regulator wide open, and this is about as fast as we can get at the moment. But uh, we are climbing up 1.1% gradient right now. And our next uh, station that we'll be passing by will be Edge Hill. So basically, here it is. This is my strategy, guys. This is my strategy. My strategy is I have done the route from Liverpool to Crew multiple times and during my routes during my drives I have been taking notes and so on my iPad that's sitting in front of me right now I have my notes <laughs> and I'm be kind of referencing them looking at them for just kind of track knowledge because we don't have a HUD nothing is here to tell us that we're going uphill that we're going downhill uh, nothing is here to tell us what our speed is what the speed is supposed to be uh, what our boiler pressure is. If we want to know what our brakes are at, we gotta look here at our vacuum uh, vacuum gauge. If we want to know what our boiler pressure is, we look here for our, our gauge as well. So that's all we get. Other than that, we are on our freaking own, just me and Janet. <laughs> that's it. Uh, so it's, oh man, let me take a breath real quick. But yeah, whenever I turn that hood off a few minutes ago, <laughs> you just know you're on your freaking own. I feel like if you can complete a no HUD challenge on any route in Train Sim World 2, then you, it's definitely an accomplishment. Um, but I'm up for the challenge. Uh, I think the most challenging part is going to be stopping at our two stops and not blowing past red signals. That's going to be the tough part. So hopefully you guys can be rooting for me. Again, we do have a giveaway today. If I'm able to complete this challenge successfully, we have three giveaways for Spirit of Steam DLC, thanks to Dovetail Games. So here we come, coming up on Edge Hill, Edge Hill Station. We're still chugging along, trying to get some speed. Let's check our reverser. 
reverser is with it right at 25. Let me make sure it's not below it. Yeah, 25. Looks good. And once we get to edge hill, this is where things will get uh, not easier. I'm not going to say that at all. Um, speed limit will stay 30 miles per hour on this stretch of track. Uh, but the grade will start to level off. And as we go through edge hill, getting a couple of stutters. Hello, ladies. You can also... One thing that's really interesting is not having the HUD or a speedometer is you have to really use all the senses available to you. One of the main senses is sound because you can't feel us going faster. It's very hard on a 2D screen to see yourself going faster. If you're going in VR, you have a better sense of speed, but when you're just on a, you know, a monitor, it's very difficult to know a sense of speed, but you can already listen. To the, to the puffs, to the chugs of the train that we're already going faster. Right around here, the gradient gets leveled. As we go under that bridge we just passed, uh, I believe the speed limit should go up to 40 miles per hour. And I'm going to stay with the uh, re re regulator open, start gaining some speed because we're going to be going uphill again very soon. Alright, so the track's going to branch off to the right here at the junction. And we'll start going uphill again, expecting about a 1.1% climb, climbing right turn as we're departing Edge Hill area. That's why I wanted to stay in the throttle there. And look at this, man. There's the, uh, I think that's the Edge Hill shed right there. Yep, and that's where you uh, refill all your coal right here. And there's a water tank over there. You can refill your water and a turntable. It's pretty cool, honestly. I, I really enjoy actually uh, starting my service off from the shed and then going up and getting the air to train, prepare it for service. So I'll go and I'll refill it with coal. I'll refill it with water. And then we'll take it on to the station, pick up our passenger coaches, and then continue. I think that's really fun to me. Like. Like when you finish that service, you have a, a greater sense of completion. So we got a green here, so we're still good. Again, watching very closely at our signals. And it should start to descend. It's just start getting faster as as we get closer to this. This is a abandoned station here. The grade is gonna level off and then start to go downhill about 0.5% or so. Here's the abandoned station, all boarded up. No people on them. Are those cows out there? Yeah, look at those cows way out there. Lots of farms. Oh, there's sheep too. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, so as we pass that abandoned station, we still got our greens. Speed limit should jump up to 70 miles per hour. And we'll continue downhill. And the next station, as you can see coming up ahead of us, that should be Sefton Park, I believe. And we will not be stopping there, just be passing through. You can hear our speed is really kicking up. Yep, Sefton Park. Nice, green light. All right, we are clear of Sefton Park, and again, you can hear the speed kicking up, and that is the reason why, it's because we're going on a negative 0.9% downhill gradient at this point of the route. Go we'll check our boiler pressure again. And it looks pretty good, it's pretty high, actually. Pretty high. Again, the speed limit around this part of the route is 70 miles per hour, so even though it may feel like we're going a bit fast, we're probably still nowhere near 70 miles per hour. Uh, my guess would be maybe 45, 50. And we're approaching now, this should be Mosley Hill. I can't actually see the sign, but... Pretty confident that was Mosley Hill. 
And as we continue past Mosley Hill, still going downhill, uh, only about probably around 0.3% downhill. Uh, another thing, now something like this would be really fun in VR, because as I mentioned before, in VR you have a sense of distance, a sense of speed, uh, and then add, add that sound element will be extremely immersive. And you can really get an idea of how fast you're going. Like right now I don't really know how fast I'm going. And this right here should be West Allerton. Yes, I am correct. West Allerton Station there. And again, continuing downhill. 0.3% or so. But yeah, in VR, uh, you can get a very good sense of speed. Uh, and when you run the route a bunch, you can get an idea of how fast 50 miles per hour is, how fast 20, how fast is 75. Uh, but when you're in 2D, it's very difficult to judge so the good thing is I'm not really too worried about speeding today we're just gonna kind of go for it it's pretty much impossible to be on time anyways <laughs> All right, we are approaching another station this should be Allerton station and followed by Allerton Junction lots of trains waiting on that one I didn't see a sign, but I'm pretty confident that was Allerton, and, and this right here coming up is Allerton Junction. There is now a crossing. Yep, this is all Allerton Junction. Got a, a freight yard over on the right side. Man, Janet, thank you for your hard work. Seriously. We are moving right now, baby. All right, we got green lights ahead. Still got to keep our eyes peeled, seriously, for yellows. Because I do not know. Even though, even though I said I've run this route before, I have not run this specific timetable. I have not run this exact service before, so it's possible, it's 100% possible that we could have a train ahead of us or yellow signals or red signals stopping us uh, throughout the route. Because when I did my test one, when I did my test run, uh, learning the route, it was all green lights the whole way. Another abandoned station there. Yeah, it was all green lights the whole way, so... I don't know how I'm going to handle getting a, a yellow or a red. <laughs> so we've already passed Allerton and Allerton Junction, I believe. We're still going downhill. We're going to come back. I'm going to come back now on the regulator, give the boiler pressure some a break. We're still actually really high. Look at that. We're already at the red line just after a few seconds being off the regulator as we're rolling downhill. There's some there's uh, some traffic. Hello friend. He's a bit shorter than us. Oh cows. Yeah track IR makes the spirit of steam and driving these steam engines so much fun. <laughs> it really does. Like being able to just poke my head out the window. Uh, by not just pressing a button but moving like I can literally look around without using my mouse and, and just enjoy the view enjoy the clouds enjoy the sun the scenery um, yeah it's just I feel like it's so much more freedom so yeah coming up to the smokestack still just uh, descending downhill now I don't think I put in my notes where exactly the smokestack is but we are approaching a station and we'll kind of get a a reference there we do have a yellow signal here so we have to watch out now let's see where are we now this is okay another I guess abandoned station there's no sign on that one I want to bring the throttle regulator back in for a little while and we're looking really looking really good guys looking really 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 good another train just passed us and here it comes, we got green and a yellow approaching. This should be Ditton right here. Ditton Junction, or Ditton Station. 
and Denton Junction will be right after. We'll come out uh, the regulator, a couple honks to the horn, let them know we're coming through at high speed. And Denton Junction, the way I remember it, is the large station. Damn, man, we hit that rail hard, boy. <laughs> yep, there's Denton Junction right there. And from here, now we are going to start going uphill. So I'm going to start allowing our speed, my speed to come back. I'm actually going to go, going to stay out of the regulator. Because we're going to go uphill. From Denton Junction, we are actually only two miles from our first stop. Rune Corn. And through this section, you probably want to be around 55 miles per hour. Again, we are going to have to prepare to stop in two miles or less. So I'm going to let gravity do its job. And let gravity slow us down as we climb up on top of this bridge. And then I'll manage my speed from there. I love all the, the smokestacks chimneys out here. It really, it really feels like the 1950s. <laughs> it seriously does. The steam age. But one thing I love about this route, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but I love how just, I love the track layout. Just the uh, the sheer amounts of track everywhere, and the way you have the track going over each other, overpasses, underpasses, bridges everywhere, tunnels, all that stuff is so much fun to to, to drive through. All right, coming up onto the bridge now. I don't remember the name the name of this bridge. Um, again, we're still climbing at this point. Once we get into here, we're going to be about a mile away now. We're a mile away from our first stop. I'm going to start putting in some brakes. I do not want to miss our first stop. Absolutely do not want to miss our first stop. So brakes are in, guys. Brakes are in. Again, we don't know how fast we are. That's the tricky part. We don't know. <laughs> we just got to uh, do it by eye. And around this section as well, I believe we start going downhill. All right, so we are approaching the station. This should be Rune Corn, our first stop. And a firm that is Rune Corn, still on the brakes. We got passengers walking on, and it's looking like so far we are gonna possibly make it. Bringing the th the, the, the uh, brakes out a little bit, we're gonna stop a little short. I'm gonna add in some chugs. And if it stops, it stops. It's all good. I want to get to the end of it if possible, but I don't think we're going to make it, so that's fine. There it is. Brakes on. We have made it. Alright, HUD is back on just for opening the doors. Unlock the left side, and whoo-hoo! Guys, for the first time, for the first freaking time, I'm going to turn the cylinder cocks on. For the first time, I have made my first ever no HUD Stop at a station. Wow. How do we do in the back end? Let's see. How do we do in the back end? Oh, we got the whole train in here. Okay. Wow. Bro, if, if everything else goes to crap from here on out, I, I personally feel accomplished. I just want to put that out there. I personally feel accomplished. Oh, wow. And on top of that, we actually made it on top. We made it on freaking time. We got here at 1740-ish. Uh, we're supposed to be here at 1741, or we're supposed to depart at 1741. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my god. Guys. Yes. Okay, this is so satisfying. We, we, we're starting off on a good foot. Very good foot. Alright, passenger. Alright, so wait till 1741. So we're freaking early. We're freaking early. Alright, you know what? I'm taking a break. I need a drink of water. <laughs> I legit need... I don't know if I breathed or, or took a breath throughout that whole first... Was that five, six miles we just drove? Oh my god. Ooh, guys, welcome to Rune Corn. What a ride it's been so far. Uh, hopefully you've been enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are feeling good in first class. Remember, we do have a giveaway today. Oh, we gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. We have a giveaway today. Three giveaways. If I am successful, guys, we will be giving away three copies of this DLC, Spirit of, Se Spirit of Steam, thanks to Dovetail Games. Hop on board and let's freaking go. All right, doors are shut. We got the green signal ahead. Once the doors are shut, the hug goes off. Ladies and gentlemen, we brakes released. Reverser is in full forward. Let me lock my thing. Brakes are in full forward. We can see the brakes are releasing. 
we are going to open up the large injector to help us release the brakes. Honk the horn, let everybody know we are getting the heck out of here. So once again, once this reaches 2021, we are free to move because our brakes are released. Whew. All right, well, let me not get too cocky and confident because we still got a long way to go. All right, there it is. Here comes the regulator. All right, we're rolling it. A little bit. And just in case, I want to get some sand in the front. All right, so guys, as we are departing from Runecorn Station, our next stop will be Crew. From Runecorn Station, we have 21 miles. So this is the longer portion of our route. We are going to have a one, a, a plus, sorry, a plus one percent uphill gradient after we depart this station. Here comes some more regulator and a little bit. We'll bring the reverser back. A little bit more regulator and off so the cops are gone Sanders off and giving it about 50 60 fix about 50 to 65 percent regulator right now and again we have a one a plus one percent gradient so I, I we're gonna be kind of moving slow on the way out of here kind of creeping and I'm gonna see if I can give it full regulator here. All right, we're not spinning the wheels. That's a good sign. Another green signal. That's also a good sign. And as we're speeding up, I'm gonna bring our reverser now back to 25. There we go, 25. Ooh, guys, I still can't believe we successfully made it <laughs> through that stop. I, I still, I still can't believe it. I really can't. All right, but let's, again, let's not get too caught up in that light off. We still got 21 miles to go to our final stop of crew. Just one more stop, and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of speed bumps along the way. So as, again, as, as you can hear, like one thing I'm noticing, because again, this is my first time ever running any route ever on Train Center World with no HUD, and it's, so far it is so much more fun. <laughs> <laughs> this way like uh, we'll have to confirm that I was going to close our large ejector there uh, we'll have to confirm that if and when we finish it successfully but so far this has been the most fun <laughs> uh, way more enjoyable than using with the HUD like it's a different challenge uh, I've always kind of felt like it's it, it trains in world 2 can be too easy uh, except in Germany when you're running with the safety systems even with a HUD on, that's extremely difficult. And that might have to be my next no HUD challenge, is in Germany, full safety systems on with no HUD. That's the ultimate, I feel like, no HUD challenge right there. So what, well, I have to look into it. If you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments. But as you can hear from the slow rate of steam shooting out of the top of our smokestack, that uh, we are definitely climbing and again in my nose we have 1.0% up to 1.0% uphill gradient speed limit is 80 miles per hour we're nowhere near reaching that that's for sure um, but uh, we got green signals up ahead we are looking good guys this is amazing Ooh wait all right man this is fun I'm, I'm legit this is probably the most fun I've ever had in a uh, in train sim world 2 uh, so thank you for the uh, suggestion, Dovetail Games, on, on trying out this challenge. And you know what? While we're rolling out of Runecorn area, Runecorn Station, headed for crew, about 21, 20 miles out, I mentioned at the very beginning of the stream is if I'm successful at this, if I am successful at this, I will be giving away, or I should say Dovetail is giving me three keys, three free keys for me to give away a uh, Spirit of Steam. DLC and I think this is a good time to tell you guys how to enter into that if you are interested in winning one of those giveaways if I make it again obviously you have to make it to the end of the video to see if I actually make it but if you're interested 
and uh, and getting three free Steam keys. Again, there's three rules. Uh, rule one: you have to be subscribed to the channel, obviously. <laughs> uh, you have to have Train Sim World 2. This is not a Train Sim World 2 giveaway. This is a Spirit of Steam DLC giveaway. So you have to own Train Sim World 2. And thirdly. You need to be a part of my Discord just so that we can communicate and I can get you your Steam key. Um, but the way you enter in is you can do it right now or you can wait to the end of the video. Uh, but the first three people, the first three people to go into my comments and drop three train emojis. Yes, first three people to jump into the comments of this video and post three train emojis. It could be a steam train, it could be a modern train, it doesn't really matter what kind of train it is. <laughs> Just post three train emojis in the chat, sorry, in the comments. Uh, those will be our winners, the first three. So go for it. Go ahead and put it in. If you have faith that I'm going to make it, go ahead and just drop it in right now. <laughs> go ahead and drop it in right now. All right, while you're doing that, I'm going to check on my boiler pressure. It's still looking good. We're actually fully open on the regulator. It's still climbing very slowly. And uh, we're not really taking... We're pretty, doing pretty good. Like, we're not really losing a lot of steam. That's a good sign. Uh, the brakes are obviously completely released. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're chugging along. Eventually, we'll get to a point where we are going to re reach the top of this hill the top of the summit and uh, we'll be able to go a lot faster again but this is a bit of the slower portion of the route it is definitely challenging if you don't plan well I mean we're pretty heavy too again we have 14 that is 14 passenger like four, 14 full passenger care uh, coaches behind us uh, which is gonna make slow us down quite a bit but now listen to this yeah now you can hear we're speeding up a little bit See, this is why sound is so essential. So essential. I'm actually dependent on sound more than even visuals. Well, I won't say more than visuals. Um, but it's pretty darn close. So hopefully, you know, to move forward with Train Sim World DLCs, uh, you know, Dovetail Games will put more emphasis on sound. They put a lot of work into sound on this particular DLC, and I hope they don't slack off on other DLCs in the future. Like, I hope they continue to put the same effort, or close to the same effort, into other DLC in the future of making them sound just as good as they look. Because again, this train looks amazing, doesn't it? It really does. Matter of fact, let's get us a bit of an outside view here. I'm gonna put my view right here, right next to Janet, doing her job there. And we also have our second camera back here. We're gonna put that on our coaches. See how our passengers are doing back there. This dude is ready to go either into work or leaving work with his uh, pretty lady right in front of him with the nice purple hat. I think it's must be the purple hats must be in season. <laughs> they must be in season. Yeah, you can see full passengers, lots of passengers in our train today. I'm really glad because sometimes you have a situation where it won't be any passengers in, and it's kind of like, uh, like I don't know, it's kind of annoying uh, when you don't have any passengers unless you are specifically doing a uh, you know, like a like a a repositioning job, where you're just moving the train empty somewhere to somewhere. In that case, yeah, it's fine. But you know, you want you want people in here. All right, you can listen to the, the train now. You can see now that or here now, we're going much faster. Uh, again, I have no idea what my speed is. This train does not have a speedometer in it. So you really judge your speed by the chugs. There's some cows on our left. Very cool. And we should be approaching a station here not too long. Uh, not that one. Out here on the countryside. It's, see, mostly the scenery out here is mostly farmland. Um, I feel like they did a solid job of not making a farmland look too, too blah. Uh, it's a lot of like cattle farms, so it's just like cows out there. Not a whole lot of vegetation farm, like, you know, like vegetables and crops. I don't see a whole lot of that. Um, 
lots of bridges though. We're driving over lots of bridges, lots of overpasses, things like that. It's pretty cool. One thing you'll notice too, again, like how am I, how do we know speed? So speed is kind of sound. Sound is how I'm judging my speed. Let's check our boiler pressure again. Looks good. We're gonna keep it over 200 if we can. Uh, but yeah, judging over visual, judging over speed, it's all over sound for the most part. And here we're going a bit faster. Uh, again, speed limit through this section of track is 80 miles per hour, so we're not worried about over speeding here. They got plenty of uh, leeway there. Uh, but I don't know if it's just not characteristic to the time period or what, but. One thing you see, and you know, one, one thing that's missing, and again, I don't know if it's characteristic to the time period, but we're missing is speed limit signs. Uh, I don't see any mile post, any mile post markers. I don't see any speed limit signs on the ground. Uh, so that definitely makes it challenging to know what the speed limit is. Uh, but the one way that I've kind of figured out what the speed is, is when I've run my test runs, I have marked kind of visual references on the uh, you know that I see out the out the window of the speed limit you know when you have the hood on it tells you what the speed is on the track and so in this case I know that around here it's about 80 miles per hour and here we come over one of the overpasses a very cool section of track and I believe we're starting to go downhill now But we'll keep our speed up. Look at that dirt road on the side. That's pretty cool. First time noticing that. And we still have double greens. All greens. Good, good. Yeah, dirt road goes all the way back there to that little town. Uh, so we still have mostly green. Yep, still green lights. So yeah, basically in my notes, I put down the speed limits for different sections of track based on different points of interest. And I uh, put that in my notes so as I see them, I'm like, all right, so this is an 80 mile per hour zone. This is a 65. So again, keeping our speed up because we may be going uphill again. It's still green light, so paying very close attention to these. Oh, got a bit of a track change right there. That river, very cool. So I had to be very careful here. So I'm looking at my notes. So I'm not 100% sure where we are. <laughs> I'm just being honest. So it's gonna come down to seeing the next station and uh, what station that is, so I can get a visual reference of where we are uh, in our route. Because I don't think we passed Halton Junction yet. Uh, but we might have. We'll have to see. You know, we might be much farther than I thought. Let's see. All right, what are we coming up on now? All right, I see a station ahead. Let's we'll see what station this is. This is going to determine where the heck we are right now. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't see it. I think it said Halton Bridge. Yeah, that was Halton Bridge. Okay, so we're much farther than, we, than I thought. We're much farther than I thought. So around here, speed limit should be like 90 per, like 90 miles per hour. And we're not really going downhill, it's more level. Uh, but from the Hartford Station, in a way I know that is from that bridge right before it. I wrote that down. Uh, we should be about 12 miles from crew now. Uh, we'll confirm that with our next station, which may be Winsford. If our next station is Winsford, then I'm correct. <laughs> we'll see. I'm, I'm not lost. I don't need directions. We're okay. Let's check our boiler pressure. Looking good. We are moving. Reverser still in 25. Yeah, 
This is tricky. This no HUD stuff is no freaking joke. All right, what do we got here? We got a yellow and a red. Is that for us? I don't really know. That's the thing that confuses me about these signals. Uh, the double ones is which is for which track. I, I don't think. I think this one is for us right here. I think this is ours. Yeah. So green on green. We're so good. We are still good. All right, let's see where it comes up now. Come past another overpass. We got green lights, and I got a green bridge, and that means that green bridge means we are in Winsford. So again, that means speed limit is 90 miles per hour. We just passed past Winsford Station. I know that because of the green bridge. That was something that stuck out to me. I put that in my notes. That also means we are 7.5 miles from Crew now. 7.5 miles and that should be the last station until we get to crew so from here is where it gets real there's no there's no uh no mid scenario saves there's no let's try it again this is it all in one take So again, speed limit around here is about 90 miles per hour. We should see an indication at some point, maybe about two miles out or so, that we have a slowdown area. Uh, I know that approaching crew, uh, it's gonna be about 20 miles per hour approaching crew. So we'll watch out for that. So we've made one stop successfully. Can we make another? All right, we still got all green, so we're good. We're good. Again, we got seven seven miles, so we're good to go. No need to stress out now. Just enjoy the view for now, guys. Enjoy the view. There's a few. Uh, I think maybe like a cornfield or something out there, or maybe might be wheat. A wheat farm. It's got me thinking about hopping on farming simulator. <laughs> Man, look how bouncy this ride is. It's so bouncy. Yeah, we still got green. There's Windsor Junction, I believe. Or Windsford Junction. There's a siding area here. I'm not sure what siding that is. Yeah, so so far on this route, we've only seen... Uh, you know what? What? One, two, maybe three trains so far. Nice. We got a green here and a yellow on the left. Uh, I still have the regulator wide open right now. Wide open. And we are moving. Look at that! Look at that! We are moving right now, guys. Still got green lights. Here comes. Uh, is that a station? Yeah, it is. Wait, there's another green bridge. Wait, that, that's Winsford. Okay, that's Winsford. So there's two green bridge stations. The first one must have been Hartford. All right, I'm gonna put that in my notes too. <laughs> so the first green bridge is Hartford. Second one is Winsford. Uh, so we're, we're actually 12 miles away back at the first green bridge. Now we're 7.5 miles away. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so now I know, I, now I know exactly where we are. We are seven miles away from our final stop in crew. So far, so good. Now we just enjoy it. should be a straight shot all the way to crew. That's why that speed limit is 90 miles per hour out here. Um, obviously this train doesn't realistically go that fast. But uh, we're, we're just, you know, we're just hammering it, man. We're on time for our first stop. Hopefully we'll be on time for our second stop. A 
there's a red up there. That's for the siding, though. And there's a couple reds. There's a red here. All right, then we got green. Yeah, the, the signals are very confusing. Very confusing. But I guess it's going to take time to figure it out. Janet is over here doing her thing, killing it. Man, if we are successful at this, I am gonna look at sheep. Uh, if we're successful at this, I, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna be so sad. I don't know, man. The ultimate mastery challenge. I feel like. The ultimate, man. Yeah, I highly recommend. If you haven't tried it before, you know, if you have a route that you really enjoy and you run it a lot, give it a try. Give it a try. No HUD. No HUD challenge. Again, one thing that makes this thing a bit easier for me is using the rail driver and as I mentioned before I'm not using the speedometer on my rail driver I have I've covered it up with a business card I can't see my speed even if I want to look it's covered up and honestly if I did it you know it would just it would do myself an injustice it would not be as as satisfying if I cheated so but you know, you could do that. If you wanted to do that, just turn the hood off if you're using a rail driver, but you could, you know, you could keep the speedometer on your rail driver. It could be definitely helpful. All right, so we got the yellow up ahead. I'm pulling the regulator out. Regulator is now out. And it's time to start slowing down. Uh, at the yellow ground signal, we are now 1.8 miles to crew now. Actually, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's correct. 1.8 miles from crew at that signal there. So we should be starting to approach the crew area. Uh, we also are going to have like a, a slower, you know, like a slower area, like a 20 mile per hour zone coming up as well. I believe at the next signal. And I do see a yellow ahead. So we should be okay. So you see I have my brakes fully applied right now, actually. As we approach. So speed is coming back and we don't have a speedometer so I don't know how fast we're actually going. But it feels like we're going much slower. Maybe 25. I think we're going a little bit faster than 20. I've actually taken the brakes out now. But we're going to allow the uh, vacuum brakes to slowly release. That's going to keep slowing us down. But uh, I don't, I'm not actually applying brakes anymore. And we'll probably just do a, go into, do a nice creep into the station. So here come to the first yellow, or not first, but the second yellow signal. I'm gonna add some more power as we are slowing down, and that right here, right here that <laughs> sorry, that right there ahead of us is Crew Station, guys. That's it right there. We are almost there. Let's finish strong. All right, are we fully? So the brakes are not fully released yet. Once we get to the end of the platform. Uh, we're expecting about 380 yards until we get to the other end uh, to stop. Yes, I've taken very, very good notes. <laughs> so I'm going to continue to let the train slow down as we approach. Yep, platform three. So more brakes because at the end of this platform, I am expecting a red signal because this is the end of the line for us. All right, we're gonna pull out that, open up that large eject. Cause I don't want to stop too early. I want to get the whole train. I want to get the whole train on here. Let's go. Come on, all the way to the end. All the way to the end. I'm not stopping here. Not stopping here. Yep. So you see the red signal up ahead of us. Got yeah, passengers are just arriving too. Brakes are fully released, and we'll let it coast to the end, and we'll just stop right before the red, and this should be good right here. Fully apply the brakes, 
and slowly come to a stop. There it freaking is, ladies and gentlemen. Give me two toots for our first completion of a full service with no HUD. Unlocking the doors. Everybody is now free to go. We made it. We... Oh, man. Oh, man. We made it. Wow. Woo! We made it. Put the reverse back in the neutral. I can't believe it. I didn't think I'd be able to do this in a million years. In a million years, I did not think I could actually get this done. I really didn't. Alright, so HUD is going to come back on just for the sake of loading, or uh, not loading, but unloading passengers. I don't know what time we were supposed to be here. We'll see it uh, when we finish the service. But wow, guys, we made it. We freaking made it. And as I said before, if I make it, it's going to be so... <laughs> satisfying and it is guys it really is like I kind of I said earlier this is honestly the most fun I think I've ever had um it's so much more fun this way it really is all right we'll lock the doors now and that should complete our service objective complete there it is what did we get what did we get did we get a gold we got a bronze is that bronze or gold it doesn't look like gold it looks kind of dirty we'll take it we'll take it. all right how do we do Due time, 17.18. Oh, actual 17.19. So we're about a minute late. Uh, into... Actually, that's actually a depart... That's in Liverpool. So I think that's departure time. I don't know, because we're already there. That's interesting that they put that there. Uh, Edge Hill platform. Uh, we passed through there at 17.27. Uh, Room Corn platform. We were due at 17.40. We got there at 17.39. Uh, which, again, a minute early. Super happy. Stop accuracy, 80 yards. Crew platform, 3... We were due there at 18.04. We got there at 18.06. So we got there two minutes late. Again, I think it's impossible to make it on time. And we were speeding probably. Anyways, we did good. 49 minutes. It took us 35 minutes traveled. Guys, we freaking did it. Return to free roam for celebration. Let's go. Guys, thank you so much. And as I said, as I promised at the beginning of the service, if we make it, which we did, if we make it, you guys win three, yes sir, three free Steam keys for the Spirit of Steam DLC. So again, do what you got to do. I've already told you guys the rules. You have to be subscribed to the channel. You got to be on Discord so I can communicate with the winners. And you have to own Train Sim World 2. I also gave details on how to enter the giveaway at some point throughout the stream. So if you're that person who skipped to the end... <laughs> I know, I know who you are. Skip to the end to get the giveaway details. Then uh, I'm sadly you're gonna have to watch the whole video to get the information. So you know who you are. If you've already listened to it, if you've already watched it, then you know exactly what to do. Do what you gotta do. I'll talk to you very, very soon. Again, huge thank you to Dovetail Games for providing this copy of Spirit of Steam to me and providing these three giveaway copies to give away to you guys. I always love giving you guys, giving back to the community. I've really enjoyed this route, the No HUD Challenge. We have completed, we have been successful. <laughs> I can't believe it, I really can't. I did it. Did, 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 did you know? I did the whole, I did the whole route. The No HUD. Yeah, she's like, she's not impressed. She's not. Oh yeah, all right, so we did it. And until next time, guys, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace. Love and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time, next video. I'm out.